we are inside the Silhouette Studio software and I first want to go to my library to find the design. So the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click where it says library. This will bring up all of my images. In the search box, I'm going to type in the word mug and then click on enter. And the project we're making is this one here. It's the Hot Cocoa Mug. It is a Lori Whitlock file and the studio ID is 161872. Close it out. Now to bring this to my mat, I'm going to go and double click on the image. Here it is here, and you can see it does come in all grouped together. So I'm going to right click on it and choose ungroup and separate the pieces. And all these red pieces here, we're going to cut those out in a pattern paper. I'm actually making my own just by stamping on white cardstock. And right, then we have the snowflake as well. All right, so we have the box and we have the handle. I'm going to right click on these and choose ungroup as well. And bring this over and then bring this piece over and then this one over there. So I'll cut these two pieces out in my green cardstock. And when I'm done that, I'll come back and delete these and then just layer these pieces on my mat as well. Just like that. So I can put a scrap piece of cardstock in the upper left hand corner. Then the snowflake. You can either cut it out or not, it's up to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the bottom right hand corner and cut that out in a glitter cardstock. I'm gonna cut everything out and go to the table and we'll put the box together. Hey guys, it's me Stace. Today we're doing another Christmas in July project. We are coming to the end of the projects and we are using our Silhouette Cameo machine to make this adorable 3D mug. I just have a little baggie with marshmallows in it. You can of course have it hold some coffee store gift cards, hot chocolate, what have you. So super simple. All right, to save time, I already went ahead and cut my pieces out. I also inked all the edges. I will have the design ID for the Silhouette Studio file listed below. There is a Lori Whitlock SVG. I will have that listed below as well. All right, so here's the base of our box. We have that, and then we also have the handles. I did ink these already, just to save time. I'm gonna grab my glue. I'm using this uh, Barry, Barely Art glue. I'm gonna get that started. And I already made my pattern paper as well. And I, for that, I used one of Maymay Made It Stamps, Fond Noel. I used this greenery and the medium sized pine cone to make my own paper. All right, so I have that over here as well. So we're just gonna take this, put glue on the back, and adhere it down. You know, another option if you don't want to add, if you don't want to have the paper, you can just stamp directly on your cardstock piece as well. And that you can eliminate the papers altogether. But super simple. I love the look of the green and the white. And this green is Stampin' Up's Mossy Meadow. I'm gonna flip it over and do this side. I did change one thing from the original design. I will show you that. You know, I don't have a lot of Christmas uh, paper, so I like make my own with what I have. So, all right, so now we're gonna put this one right here. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed the Christmas in July projects. So today is Friday, July 30th, I believe. And I will probably do two more videos one with the Cricut and one with the Brother Scanna Cut. That way you can finish off. No! Guys, I am back. Sorry about that. My husband came home and I heard the beep of the alarm from the door and I was like, who is here? He actually got done work early. All right, so we're gonna continue on with this piece here. Oh, I need to poke a hole in my glue. So do you guys use this glue, the Barely Art Glue? I said before, I have like mixed feelings with it. I'm a big fan of the Art Glitter Glue, but this was cheaper. So that I would go ahead and try it. All right. So I'm gonna put this in on this side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take this. There's a score mark in the middle and there's these little tabs. Fold those down as well. So we're gonna go together and then we're gonna 
put the tabs through the hole right here and I open the tabs up and I put our glue on. All right. So I'll put a little dot of glue on that little tab right there and right there. And then bring it through. And just kind of hold it in place. And then I'll do the other side. You can also use a sticky strip or a stronger glue here if you want to. All right, give that a second to set up and then we'll assemble the box. Okay, so to assemble, we're gonna put glue on these flaps. And you wanna have your glue go to the edge as close as you can and also by the fold. Just bring this one up to this one. Line it up at the top and the sides. And the bottom of the box just kind of forms on its own. All right, do this side, put glue on this flap. Just hold it with your fingers on the inside, let that glue dry a little bit. Now, depending on the person you're gonna give this to, if they're right-handed or left-handed, that's where that's where the front of the box would be. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna use this as my front. I'm gonna put some more glue right there. You can do the greeting on both sides as well. All right, so for the greeting, they actually, the cut file had a star, or I'm sorry, a snowflake. I did cut that out, and you can see I used that as a uh, like a little tag for my bag versus putting it on the box. I didn't like it, or I wanted some kind of greeting on it. So I'm using a May May stamp set called Fond Noel, and again, I used the pine and the pine cone to make my own paper. And I have this piece of white cardstock. This is sized at one and a quarter by one and three quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the fond Christmas greetings part, but I don't want the fond. I just want the Christmas greetings on there. So I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape and cover up the word fond. And then grab my green ink. And then stamp it really good. And I'm going to stamp off just so I can test it. We're pretty good. Now I can take my tape off and then grab our little white piece right here and then just stamp that on there. Hopefully I can go in there straight. Eh, I think I'll try it again. Good thing paper has two sides, right? Okay, so again we're going to cover up the word fond. Ink it like usual. Really good. Take the tape off. And then I'm going to bring it closer to me so I can be above it or on top of it. Hope that'll give us a better image. Mm. Use the same on both. Actually, okay, this side is nicer. Okay, so I'm going to use that side. I'm going to pop it up with my foam squares. I thought I brought them out. I know I brought them out. I just can't find them. All right. And I'm just going to use two. I think two is good. Okay, I'm going to take this piece, and this green piece is uh, one and a half by two. I'm going to take that and glue this to the front of my mug. And I want to hold that there because it's kind of going on a curve. Okay, and take this guy, give the backing a squish, take the backings off. And then put that on the front. I did also stamp pine cones on that one. On this one, you can see I didn't do that on this one. All right, what do you think? I mean, how cute is that, right? Again, just a little, this is like a little cello bag. Um, I have marshmallows in it. Of course, marshmallows and hot chocolate. 
uh, would work in there, a gift card would work in there, some candies would work in there, really whatever you want to do. And it doesn't need to be for Christmas. This would be a great uh, mug for dad for coffee in the morning or not, not to drink out of, but you know what I mean, like a gift for dad. Um, anybody really, whoever drinks coffee, I think it's really, really, really cute. All right, so there you have it, our Christmas in July a project using the Silhouette Cameo machine. Any questions, guys, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.